Hey y'all and happy beginning of week seven. I hope your week six sweet I hope your week six went well. I'm sorry I've been a little bit MIA. School has just it's not kicking my butt. I'm just super busy. Anyways, this week we are back to solve a super important question. Now, this week my parents showed up and they said happy Valentine's Day and they gave me something that I've been wanting for a long time. An air fryer. Now, if you've ever met anyone who owns an air fryer, they're ultimately going to tell you it is the best appliance you could possibly own next to a refrigerator and an oven. It takes away the need for a microwave or a toaster oven. And you know, I want to know if it's real. So today we are going to be testing, is the toaster oven or the air fryer better? And what better way to test it than with chicken nuggies, fried potato fries. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to stick chicken nuggies and some rice potato fries into my toaster oven. We're going to cook them, see how they come out. And then we're going to do the same thing with the air fryer and see which one is better. We'll have some grading criteria that I am yet to decide and we'll decide are air fryers really worth it. All right, now that everything has started cooking, I'm going to sit back wait check a few times and hope for the best i'll be back with results in no time all right so the chicken seemed to get done for both the toaster oven and the air fryer a lot quicker than the fries which makes a lot of sense i've put them on this plate with some barbecue sauce i'll give you a closer look you can definitely tell that the air fryer chicken is a big bit crunchier than the oven chicken let me give you a closer look just looking at them, you can see that the air fryer chicken is a lot crispier, and this, mm, not quite as much. Let me give a taste test. Up first, we've got the air fried chicken. On the inside, it is the perfect amount of cooked. It's nice and chewy, but not too chewy. It's nice and soft. If you told me that this was the healthier version of McDonald's, I'd believe you. All right, let's do the toaster oven chicken next. Got a little barbecue sauce on it, and let's go. Although not noticeable, I would say it was a little bit drier than the air fried chicken. When you're eating, you probably wouldn't notice, but if you ate a large quantity, I bet you would. All right, drum roll, please. The winner is the air fryer chicken. Definitely think I'm going to be doing my chicken this way going forward. It was done a lot faster than the toaster oven, which is great for when you only have like 10, 15 minutes in order to get food. And it's a lot crispier and has the perfect amount of tender and juicy on the inside. I think the fries should be done, so let me go check on those, and we'll get a taste test on those, too. All right, we just got the fries done, and by looking at them, you can tell the air fry fries are so much more crispier than the toaster oven. Let me give you a closer look. On this side, we've got the, the air fryer oven ones, and look how crispy these are. And this side, we've got the toaster oven. They are crispy, but, you know, not quite the same. All right, it is time to taste test these fries. Up first, we're gonna do the toaster oven. This is how I've been doing my fries since I came to college a few years ago. Got one. They are nice and crispy. They're not super crispy like the other ones, but they are still pretty crispy. Um, some parts will darken a lot quicker than others, so the side that was down on the tin foil, you can obviously see it, whereas the other side is a little bit mushy. Let's consider it's a pretty good fry. It's not super mushy, but it is definitely mushy. Um, but it tastes good, like I could eat this. I have been eating this. Up next, let's do the air fryer. Now, looking at these fries, I can already tell they're crispy all the way around. So we don't have the one-sided crispiness like we do with the toaster oven. They also look just fancier in general. Like they look like the fries you would get at a restaurant. So I'm really excited to eat one. Let's do it. I think the air fryer redefined the same fries I've been buying for the last two years. I don't know what it is, but it kind of tastes different. Like it tastes like I'm eating this at a restaurant. It's a lot crunchier than the other one is, and I don't get that mushy inside, but it is mushy enough to make you know that it's a good fry. You know, I think I might start doing my fries like this for the rest of my life. Freaking good. So that leads us to my final conclusion. After much consideration, I think we have decided a winner. It was clear that one candidate was superior in crispiness, inside texture, warmth, ease, and quickness of speed. I think, I think it's obviously clear that our winner is the now, I must admit that anything is better than our third competitor who is not pictured here today, but should be referenced, the microwave oven. At the end of the day, everything is better than the microwave. Have you had fries in the microwave? Well, I hope not. They're disgusting. 
Anyways, if you have the extra funds, go out there and get yourself an air fryer. It will revitalize the way that you see chicken nuggets and fries. It was amazing. It was great. I am so glad to have been a judge here today and I'll see you next week. Thank you.